Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here uh, with jumpstartyourmarketing.com and I want to talk to you today about books and being an author. And some of you out there might be an author already, some of you might have multiple books and that's awesome. Some of you might have some books but you still aren't making the money in your business, that's not so awesome but it's still a start. Uh, I find that, and some of you might not actually not even think, why do I need a book, or who the heck is going to read if I write it, or what am I going to write about, I don't have no idea, like, why would I be an author, it doesn't apply to my business, I mean, there's a lot of stuff, uh, head trash, that gets in the way of people, but I'm telling you, uh, writing a book is so pivotal, pivotal if you're an entrepreneur, or a speaker, or whatever, I don't care what kind of business you have, if you're a home improvement remodeler, if you're a spa owner, if you are a, a shamanic healer, if you're a massage therapist, if you're um, a bookkeeper, if you're a financial planner, if, if you're a coach consultant, of course, but some of these other uh, entrepreneurs, if you're a, a housekeeper, right? Um, why have a book if it's something like that? If you're in a business, something like that, right? I think anybody should have a book and but the key is not necessarily spending a whole bunch of money on getting the book done and I've spent a lot of money on books let me tell you getting books done probably um, let's see to do, do, do adding it all up about ten thousand dollars I've spent to be in the books that I've been in okay that you can see in the back of me so my live yourself successful was an amazing book but it was it cost me six grand to be to have that book <clears throat> um, published and put together, uh, edited, formatted, and the cover design and all this stuff and, and all that stuff. So six grand, that's a lot of money, right? And how, how much money did you say, you know, how much money have I made selling the book? Not that much. But it's not about the money that I, it's not about the, the money that I make from selling the book. It's the money that I make from people who read the book and then hire me for other things that are much bigger dollars, okay? So it's not about the 15 or $20 that I sell the book for. It's about what the book leads to in my sales funnel, other programs, products, and services. So that's the reason you have a book. The reason you have a book if you're, say, a CPA or a housekeeper or a home improvement company is to stand out from everybody else, is to stand out from everybody else in your industry. I have clients who be, had who became an author even with just a chapter in a compilation book where there's 20 different authors and they have one chapter even that type of being in a book will set someone apart like you will not believe okay in your industry i have a, a home stager who just wrote a book on staging and is getting more jobs now and, and, and away from her competition because she's the one with the book about it right she's the one who she's the expert who wrote the book about it Right? So, and there's a lot of people talking about self-love and loving yourself and all that, but I'm the one that wrote the book about it, right? So who's going to have me to speak at a conference or whatever? I'm the one that wrote the book about it. Or are you going to have just somebody who's talking about it on their website? No, you're going to have someone who wrote the book on it, right? So there's a lot of reasons to get a book. Expert status positioning is the number one, right? Number two is for lead generation and getting people to know, like, and trust you. And number three is really getting it into your funnel of your sales funnel to, to move them through your programs, products, and services into higher end programs, products, and services. And number four is to make money on the book. That's really the last thing you want to think about. But what I've done recently, so I spent, you know, six grand on this book. And then these books over here, there's uh, three books on the, I don't know what's it. So these three here, one, two, three, these are all... Uh, called compilation books or anthologies and this means that I did a book with uh, 20 or 30 other authors they're all a little different this one I did with Allie Brown back in 2007 Allie was one of my first mentors and uh, this was I think I don't know how many books she's done but I think this was her first book and she did it with a lot of her clients and so we all participated in a chapter and we paid a good significant amount to be in this book right um, but I've also gotten on TV. I've gotten TV interviews from this. Um, when it was my only book, mind you, this was the very first book I ever had. When it was my only book, it's the thing that I would showcase at tr uh, trade shows and speaking gigs and the thing that I would sell and had copies of. Uh, and then I got a couple more of those and then I wrote the Love Yourself Successful book 
And now I have my new book coming out, which is uh, Jumpstart Your New Business Now. This is the proof copy. You can see with the little thing on it. But uh, right now it's in proofing and editing. So I'm, I've got a couple copies that I'm uh, reading and editing right now. I'm excited. Uh, and then I'll be launching it in a couple weeks um, officially uh, through my email and on Amazon and stuff. But the point is that um, it's, and this book actually, I'm trying to think of how much money. I need to calculate it out. I think I spent probably around $70 or $80 on the cover design. It looks pretty good though, right? I mean, I had the idea of what to put on it, but um, I got it done through a really expensive place. Uh, the formatting, I did pay for formatting because the inside formatting is really important that you pay for someone to format the inside of your book because um, it's not as easy as you think. Uh, and so that probably cost me like $140. And I paid uh, one of my assist, uh, one of my friends, not an assistant, one of my friends who's a publisher, to teach me a little bit about the online stuff where you put the book on Amazon and, and Kindle. And so instead of me going online and spending hours and hours and hours or a whole day trying to figure it out, I hired her for a couple hours to show me. And so I paid her like three hundred dollars to show me what to do. So now I have that tutorial, right? And so when I want to do a book again, I get low price cover. I get some low price formatting and then I go look at my tutorials on how to get it up again. Now you might want to pay for an editor. Editing is really important. Um, I'm a pretty good writer. Uh, I'm pretty confident that um, it's there's not a lot of mistakes in here, but I am going to have a couple people read through it and maybe do some editing, light editing. But some people need a little bit more editing than others, so that might be a few hundred dollars. Other than that, I mean, paying for, I just uh, ordered a hundred dollars worth of books. Um, from Amazon to ship it to the conference I'm going to be at next week and um, and so I'm going to be able to sell them there and probably pay for that and so it's it's just a great thing now I have another book right so it's kind of exciting and it didn't really take a lot of time either because I had a whole bunch of recordings of trainings that I did and I transcribed them and then I used some of that content in here and I just had to kind of write around it and fluff it down a little or fluff it up a little bit and edit a little bit of it and uh, so it was a lot easier to write this book than, frankly, this book, because this is more of my story and um, my love and money concepts and stuff like that. And so that was this one was much harder to write, but this one was really easy uh, because I already had content written. When you already have content written, it makes it easy to actually get something done, get a book done, right? So what I want to talk to you about today is being an author. And what that mean, and what could that mean for you and, and how can you become an author? There's so many different kinds of books you can write. You can write one on your story and your mission or your purpose or who you're here to serve or your philosophies, something like I did here. Uh, you can write your system. So if you are a coach or consultant or something, you probably have a process you take people through, right? We'll put it in a book. Right? This is my 10-step jumpstart your business in 90 days system that I actually sell a program for for $2,000 on the internet, right? On my website. Um, you can write a story. This one, the story that's in here is the, um, uh, what's it called? It's um, the thing I say all the time that I didn't really realize that I believe this, but it'll all work out in the end is what my chapter was in here. And that was something about having faith in yourself and having faith in what you're doing. And so it was just one of my stories. It was a belief or whatever. So that was one of my chapters. I wrote a chapter on social media marketing. I wrote a chapter on um, business systems before. So those are some ideas. You know, you can write a tip book where you just put a tip on each page. You can write a quote book where you have a quote on each page, whether it's your quote or somebody else's quote. Uh, you can do... Um, I would love to have, I'm doing a compilation book, so I would love to have, if you are considering being an author, the fastest way to get published, honestly, is being in one of these compilation books. Like I said, I was in three in the beginning before I wrote my book because it was easy. All I had to do was write like 1,500 words on one topic that is my thing, and I want you to write about what your business is about, like make it a lead generator for you, make it a... Um, a little bit of a teaser of what you really want them to people to buy from you or what kind of service or product or program that you want them to pay for or buy from you. That's what you want to write a chapter about in this new book that I'm doing and it's called Jumpstart Your Blank. 
It's called Jumpstart Your Blank. So it goes along with my brand, yes, but every single chapter will be a different blank. So we have authors doing all kinds of things. And so far we've got about 13 chapters taken and I'm looking for 20. So I'm looking for those of you who want to write a chapter in a compilation book produced by me and my team. Uh, now, it will cost a lot more than a few hundred bucks because I've got a publisher, I've got a whole design team and editing team because I'm not going to do the reading through all the chapters. That's just too much work. I don't have time for that. But you will get help to write. I'm coaching people already. So the authors that have already committed to be in the book, we've already held a couple coaching calls where I'm sharing with them how to position their chapter so it'll drive people to their site, their website to their products, programs, and services and help sell their business for them and get more clients. So that's really what we want your chapter to be about. So if you're a sales trainer, we want you to do jumpstart your sales, right? If you're a person, I know someone who does uh, referral marketing. He's really big on um, telling, showing people how to get more referrals. So jumpstart your referrals would be perfect, right? Then there's um, mindset coaches, right? We actually don't have the chapter jumpstart your mindset. And so you could be jumpstart your mindset, jumpstart your health is not taken, jumpstart your wealth is not taken. If you're a financial planner or you're um, a money coach or a CPA or anybody who helps people either make more money or whatever, I mean, whatever it is, if you help them with pain, jumpstart your relief, Jump, we have somebody doing jumpstart your habits, jumpstart your diabetes, jumpstart your... Um, social media, jumpstart your profits. We have some of those already taken, but there's so many words out there that could be what you help people jumpstart. And for a, a pretty small investment, you can get this accomplished. You can become a published author this year, 2018. We're going to do it in the fall. <coughs> It'll include a ticket to my November event, frankly. It also includes some coaching calls along the way with me about the book and how it can... Uh, how, how it can in, be incorporated into your business and what you do. And a lot of people are getting coaching on all kinds of things, not just the writing of the chapter. <coughs> Excuse me. And I would love for you to consider being a part of this. Now, there's a whole video that explains the book opportunity and all the details of what is entailed and what's required and all that kind of stuff. It's all on the webpage. If you go to my website and you go to jumpstartyourmarketing.com, jumpstartyourmarketing.com, it's a little complicated. So when you get there, if you if you hover over the coaching tab, okay, then you'll see a drop down menu that says become an author. If you go to the become an author page, then you'll see the the video and all the details of what's uh, with the pricing and everything, and you can even submit uh, a, an inquiry to me without paying first. So if you're interested but you want to have a conversation, then fill out the little form that just says that you're interested and what your word might be on that page, and we'll have a conversation about it to make sure it's a good fit for you, okay? Because I want this to be a win-win for you. I don't want just a bunch of authors that are randomly, you know, that randomly pay. I want people who are a good fit for this book and my tribe, so to speak, um, but also someone that it knows exactly how it can benefit your business. And you may not know that now until we have a conversation, but I can show you how if you uh, go to that page and fill it out. So the actual URL to the page is jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash jumpstart Compilation. Compilation. C-O-M-P-I-L. <coughs> A-T-I-O-N. Sorry. Anyways, so if you're interested in becoming an author this year, this might be a great way to do it. Let's have a conversation and see. And if you want to write your own book, I totally help you with that too. And I can show you how to do it very inexpensively, okay? Very inexpensively, um, as inexpensively as possible with all the resources, because I actually did a program with one of my clients on how to write your book in 30 days uh, for less money. So I have all the resources and everything you need to become an author, and I would love to help you. So this is Katrina Sawa, jumpstartyourmarketing.com. Let's become an author this year. Yay! Okay, have a great day, everyone. Bye.